Other big news that we are following today, the Federal Reserve. Analysts widely expect that the Fed will increase interest rates for the ninth time in about a year. That's right. But the banking turmoil we've been witnessing over the past two weeks may have altered the Fed's strategy. The Federal Reserve is expected to announce an increase of one quarter of a percentage point today. You see it right there, 25 uh, basis points. Now, this increase would come at a time when the labor market has been strong and inflation has cooled just slightly in recent months. CBS News reporter Sarah Ewell Weiss has been monitoring the situation for us from Washington. She joins us now. Hey there, Sarah. So most people expect the central bank will raise rates today. Some think that they may opt not to do so in the wake of these bank failures. There were even some questions prior to the last two weeks of whether the Fed would increase it not by 25 basis points, but 50 basis mm -hmm. points. Tell us what you're hearing. Yes, you know, what we were hearing two weeks ago versus what we're hearing yesterday and today are just two totally different landscapes, really. Two weeks ago, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell was on the Hill telling lawmakers that they may need to keep interest rates higher and for longer. So there was an anticipation of a half a percentage point hike. But then we saw everything happen with Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. The two banks collapsed, the market's in turmoil. And so there's been a reassessment of really what the Federal Reserve needs to do with the meeting today. Right now, the markets are expecting there to be a quarter of a percentage point hike, uh, which, of course, is smaller than we had expected two weeks ago, uh, but still a hike. And it will be the ninth hike since the Fed started raising rates almost about exactly a year ago. Uh, and this is also going to be the, if they do raise the rate, by a quarter of a percentage point, the highest the federal funds rate has been since 2007. Uh, but as you know, there are some people, specifically some economists, who are suggesting that maybe the Federal Reserve uh, should put a pause to interest rate hikes, at least for now. Goldman Sachs was one of the uh, groups that were suggesting maybe they pause hikes for now, suggesting that the stress on the banks at this moment in time, it's worth pausing uh, the hikes that are used to combat inflation just to see how things uh, run their course and to calm folks' nerves at this point. And you, men and you mentioned the calming of nerves. Um, because there will be a reaction to this on the markets and because it's a sign of how confident the Fed is in the banking system itself, do you see this decision as more pivotal than previous interest rate hikes because of the turmoil and the anxiety that really is surrounding it now? You know, it, it is interesting because Federal Reserve Chairman Powell really likes to ex set out what to expect in these meetings. He likes to lay the landscape. He's not expected to be a surprise usually. Uh, but there is a lot more uncertainty going into this meeting because of the turmoil in the markets and with the Bank, banking system. And, and so there is that degree of uncertainty, uh, which is not <clears throat> usual at this stage. With that said, they are really stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Of course, maybe not raising the rates as much uh, kind of leaves the system to cool, less stress on the banking system after the failures of those two banks. Uh, but then, of course, on the opposite side, if you pause it, there's a suggestion that some investors may say, well, does the Fed know something we don't know uh, with that pause? Is there uncertainty to be read there uh, that'll cause them to be nervous and freak out even more on that side? So it really is a balancing act. And it'll be interesting to see not only what they do at this meeting, uh, but how they explain their logic for their decision as well. And that is something that everyone will be listening for in Powell's press conference after the announcement is made. Yeah. Absolutely. Both of those, not just the number, but the explanation, so yeah. important. All right, Sarah, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. And since the Federal Reserve is expected to announce its interest rate decision at 2 p.m. Eastern today, we will have a panel of experts on to cover it. Errol and I will be here, so please do stick around. Yeah, our questions already set and ready to go. Um, stay tuned for that.